Scarf? No scarf. Scarf? No scarf. Scarf? Okay, another question. Two scarves. One scarf. What? More scarf? Okay. But honestly, the only thing I've been thinking about since the last video is how beautiful you are. In fact, I prepared a poem that will surely squash any doubt about how I feel. <clears throat> Whipped cream. Condoms. Flaming hot Cheetos. I just realized this is a grocery list and not a poem at all. My name is Destry and I'm what they call a little bit of a bad boy. Back up in your ass with the resurrection. Oh yeah. Does that turn you on, ladies? No! <laughs> <laughs> My name is Destry, and I like to cosplay anime characters. And you're probably like, oh, Destry, you would play a great Sebastian from Black Butler. Sorry, African-American Butler, my bad. You could play a great L from Death Note. Well, thanks for that, but I was thinking more along the lines of... <laughs> no, stop. Stop it. Get some help. That video had nothing to do with the video that you're about to watch, but you guys can stop sending it to me and asking me if this is the blonde version of me. The answer is yes. Hi, everybody, welcome back to you. What the f <laughs> I'm Mama Dust Dust. Okay, but why is my mom better at doing this than I am? My name is Zestri, and I get way too excited about music that I shouldn't be excited about. And though I'm wide awake, I know my dream is coming true. Lastly, in some ah! news, a woman was arrested this last week after she bit her ex-boyfriend's testicles out of his scrotum. Ah! What the f***, lady? No! Just no! What the hell did this guy do to warrant his testicles being ripped open? Because I highly doubt this was some kink, like, oh yeah, baby, bite my sack! Like, I've seen some weird kinks in my life to the point where my internet company sometimes calls me to make sure I'm okay. Hello, this is your internet company. We noticed your search history has been a bit strange lately. Please confirm that you've been searching for flaming nipples. Yes. Okay, um, urine fountains. U urine, urine fountains? Mm-hmm, yep. Wow, okay, um, Kylo Ren shirtless. Um, I looked that one up for a friend. And last one, the sex scene from Underworld 2 Evolution. That one wasn't me. Uh, someone's definitely using my internet. Genital screaming? Really? Okay, thank you. Really? Thank you. Mikasa from Attack on Titan with his strap on. But even still, as weird of kinks as whoever's been using my internet has, I still don't think that testicle ripping is one of them. So do you like cheat on her or throw away her collection of bionicles? I mean, that would make me want to bite someone's sack off. Nope. Turns out that the reason that this poor man no longer has a testicle is because he refused to have a threesome with her. What? Honestly, I'm still just wondering how this even happened at all. Like, every way I reenact the facts in my head, it still doesn't make sense. Hey, you want to have a threesome with my gross friend Welch? Yeah, she's named after a juice brand, so you know she's juicy. Absolutely not. I would rather stick my dingle in a moist can of lima beans than that. How dare you? Now let me see one of your testicles so I can rip it out with my teeth. Okay. You got it. <laughs> So the first thing I want to talk about today is the Tide Pod Challenge. Just two months into 2018 and there's already something that makes me ashamed to be part of mankind. Awesome. Really, really good. In a weird way, I almost want the Tide Pod Challenge to continue. That way it just weeds out all the f***ing stupid people. So that in mind, I'm officially starting a new challenge called the Rat Poison Challenge. Don't be afraid, it's totally harmless. Just put a little rat poison on a spoon and snort it. Snort it. Snort it. <laughs> what the f***? Disclaimer, please don't snort rat poison. Destry's not responsible for any harm that may come to you because you're a giant idiot. Hey, remember the whole United Airlines scandal I talked about? Oh, is that the one with the uh, Asian guy who got beat up on the plane? Ah! That's the one. Well, United is back in the news with yet another scandal as they can just not catch a f break. Oh boy, what has the Chris Brown of air travel done now? Well, United was back under fire recently after a flight attendant forced a passenger from Houston, Texas to put her dog in the overhead bin where it supposedly barked for two hours before finally quieting down and was discovered dead in the overhead compartment when they landed. I feel like United just needs a warning system before you board their planes from now on. Like, are you looking for a convenient flight? Yeah. Please select no to continue with United. Are you Asian? Yes. Please select no to continue with United. Do you love your beloved dog and would your daughter miss it if it died? Yes. Please select no to continue. No. Please, please select, please select no. Violent outbursts are encouraged on United. United, our service will leave you breathless. And your dog. No, 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 this one's better. United, fifth in comfort, first in pet deaths. Oh, what about? United, the only thing higher than our planes is your medical bill. And Snoop Dogg, he's also pretty high. United, we have difficulty hearing things like... And... 
United, now offering pet euthanasia. No, 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 no. Have you ever wanted to get reamed by Barney the Dinosaur? No way, you too? My god, the things we have in- I'm totally kidding. But I do hope you're ready to have your childhood ruined, as the actor who used to play Barney the Dinosaur was in the news recently after it was found out that he now works as a sex guru. What? On his website, Joyner says, Linda Lingham. Penis and the yoni vagina meet. There's a certain energy that takes place that hands on the body alone cannot create. Of course. I know all about the connection of the yoni. I know my way around the yoni if I do say so myself. I know so much about the yoni, man, it's crazy. I'm drowning in yoni. <laughs> As I said, one might call me a little bit of a bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> but for those of you who don't know, TanaCon was a YouTube convention held in Anaheim, California on June 22nd that was created and named after Storytime YouTuber Tana Mojo. But in a video she posted in April of this year, she publicly speaks out against the convention of VidCon and the reasons that she wanted to make her own convention. This then spawned TanaCon, which was promised as a cheaper, more fun VidCon, with an entire weekend of free meet and greets with featured creators including Shane Dawson, Bella Thorne, concerts and performances, and a gift bag that was supposed to be worth twice the ticket price you paid. But instead, it was long lines to get into a tiny hallway of a hotel that was four times over capacity, dehydration, sunburns, a gift bag that contained stickers, a lanyard, and a specialty Tana condom. Haha. <laughs> That's funny. As well as absolutely no food and an event that canceled after the first day. It could have been worse, right? Welcome to TanaCon! Inside your gift basket, you'll find a small jar of Tana's farts. There's of course cursed Aztec gold that you will have to return to a small chest in an island far, far away from here. If you dig a little deeper, you'll find a restraining order from the people that you hold most dear. And last but not least, a live rattlesnake. Ah! But wait, the fun doesn't stop there, as TanaCon takes place in a tiny meth trailer outside of Arkansas with a grizzled homeless man as our only security. So, Come meet your favorite celebrities, including Bill Cosby, Dr. Claw from Inspector Gadget, and Cap'n Desdes. Hi. Ah! An elderly woman was arrested this last week after she killed her own son because he wanted to put her in a nursing home. Why is this me one day? Okay, I'll go to a nursing home, but you'll have to catch me first, motherfucker. <laughs> Secret. But the 92 year old Anna Mae Blessing. Holy Christ! What the f? This lady looks like she wants Anakin to kill a bunch of younglings. This lady looks like f***ing Bilbo Baggins when Frodo wouldn't show him the ring. Ah! Ugh. Still scares me like 15 years later. But the other big story to come out of Comic Con this weekend was the news that Disney fired Guardians of the Galaxy writer and director James Gunn. But Gunn was fired after some offensive tweets that he posted from 2008 to 2012 resurfaced online, which apparently Disney was not too fond of. So, just in case I'm ever more than just a YouTube person and I could potentially get fired because of all the dumb sh that I used to say, let's go through my old tweets and see what I might have to apologize for. Okay, so first I want to apologize. Uh, a lot of these are crass and just plain insensitive. Starting with my earliest tweet, in 2009. I like ravioli. <laughs> How could you, Destry? Everyone knows lasagna is superior. I don't like my nipples being touched, in all caps. That's still true, but I don't know why I needed to tell my followers about that. I'm very sorry for that tweet. It was it was too much information. I, I was way out of line. Every YouTuber I met was cooler than me. Oh well, one day I'll have a mustache and I'll be cooler. <laughs> we sure showed them. So in the wake of the whole TanaCon thing that we talked about last time, it seems like YouTubers have not learned their lesson about throwing dumbass events that are bound to fail, as yet another YouTuber was in the news for doing exactly that. If you're wondering how lit the venue was, I think this clip really sums up the excitement of the crowd. When the energy was at its lowest, it was saved by a dude in a man bun who hyped the crowd with just a few short shrill sounds. <laughs> Nothing gets a crowd going like Everyone was jumping after that, they got really into it. And if that first woo didn't get up, the second and the third and the fourth definitely did. <laughs> For the love of God, can we stop doing f***ing YouTube events? Or at least can we stop having f***ing idiots do them? Because of this shit, pretty soon when I introduce myself as a YouTuber, it's gonna be a bad thing. Like, hi, I'm Destry, I make YouTube videos. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Should you be out here alone? Where's your parents? Do you need us to call someone for you? What are you talking, I'm 27. Oh, this one can talk and count. Wow, look at that. Should you be wearing a helmet? Here, sweetie, put this on. You're a danger to yourself and everyone around you. No, no, no thanks. Shh, you put that on. There you go, okay. Yeah, that looks really good. Well, don't get too close, Timmy. He might use you for clickbait. Uh, we'll be going to the somewhat old, but really bizarre interview between Dr. Phil and a woman named 
named Jillian Epperly, who's the creator of a rancid looking liquid called Jilly Juice, which she claims can cure autism and regrow limbs. You say that this will reverse homosexuality? Yes. Yes. Yes, it will, Dr. Phil. That rhymed. Drink my juice. Excuse me, homosexual male. Would you mind trying this revolting looking pigeon diarrhea colored refreshment? Sure. Wow, I no longer have an attraction to penis. Wow. This honestly reminds me so much of like the olden days when people would just say anything could solve your problems and people believed it. Like no joke, before cocaine was an actual drug, people thought it was a miracle cure-all for everything. Like just imagine a world where it's like, Hey doc, I have a slight headache and it's causing me minor discomfort. Minor discomfort, you say? Well snort some of this good sh and you'll never have a headache again. So I just put it, snort it. Just right in it, like, snort it. Snort it. Wow, thanks, Doc. I feel so much. Oh, oh my God. At least he doesn't have a headache anymore. And I mean, Jillian seems like a normal person on Dr. Phil, but there are so many like weird personal vlogs that just make you really question this woman's sanity. Yeah, I'd pick the poop out of my ass. I got a fart. Okay. Ooh, I just pooped. Oh, man. Okay, you guys, I gotta go and change my shorts. Oh, what the f how is this a real person? Two elderly men escaped from a nursing home this last week and were found at 3 a.m. at the biggest heavy metal festival in the world. But honestly, this is probably gonna be a lot more common as time passes because like you listen to the music that you listen to when you're a kid. So like 40 years in the future, old people are gonna be listening to rap. Like how weird is that? If you put a rap around an old person now, it's like, oh God, turn that shit Ah, oh, there we go. This is a great song. But 20 years from now, when a Snoop Dogg song comes on, it'll be like, Girl, you've got some bomb ass pussy. Grandpa! And my dick runs deep. So deep. So deep. Put her ass to sleep. Oh my god, Grandpa. Hey, this is the music I made your mother to. Now you better appreciate it. A Russian couple was caught on CCTV footage wandering around a grocery store looking for a place to have sex before finally deciding on bending the woman over a conveyor belt at the checkout counter. But I guess I don't really see the appeal to doing things in public, mainly because I don't want people to see my turned on face. Do you have one of those? Like... <gasps> Just really unattractive. Plus, have you ever tried to have a normal conversation while you were insanely horny? It's not fun. Hey, Destry, how's it going? Yeah, um, yeah. I'm, I'm good. Okay, uh, have you seen the weather out there? It's getting pretty wet. Oh my god, I bet it's f***ing wet, you slut. What? Nothing. And the first story I want to talk about today is that Kanye West and Lil Pump's new song, I Love It, went viral this last week for just the weirdest Reason. And because I don't want to get a copyright strike, I obviously won't be playing the song. So instead, I'll be reciting the lyrics to you guys um, so you can get a grasp on the song and see if you'd actually like it. And because I don't want to get demonetized, uh, anytime there's a cuss word, I'll just be replacing it with a clip of Owen Wilson saying, Wow. <clears throat> You're such a f***ing hoe. I love it. You're such a f***ing hoe. I love it. I'm a sick f***. I like a quick f***. Whoop. I'm a sick f***. I like that ho sh Wow. I wanna hear more sh Wow. I like that ho sh Wow. Send me some more sh wow. you trifling ho Wow. Some of you may know I'm a massive fan of rap. You don't believe me? <laughs> Why else would I own this poster? See? Rap. I'm also a massive fan of movies. Which movies? I don't know, man. Just all of them. <laughs> An elderly woman who wrote the book How to Kill Your Husband was recently arrested for being suspected of killing her own husband. Really? You don't say. You know those hilarious books that you see in just like obscure bookstores where there's like a ripped shirtless dude on the cover and it's called like The Tale of Love Part 7 Sleepless in October. And there's like 50 copies that no one ever buys. Yeah, she writes those type of books. Oh, here's what she did. The wrong cop. Wrong never felt so right. The sexual tension is hot enough to fry an egg on the page. The wrong brother. Phew, what a scorcher of a read. <laughs> Five stars on Amazon. One review says, Wow, what a ride. Sex is hot, story is tight, hero is seal perfect, the heroine is smart, sassy, and likable. Did I mention the sex was hot? <sighs> By Puppy Mom. <laughs> a funeral was held several days after Daniel's passing, which Nancy herself attended and spoke at, saying, He was a person who did what he loved. He loved teaching, he loved mushrooms. <laughs> what? Did she just say he loved mushrooms? He loved mushrooms. That's what I thought. Man, I really hope that when I die, the person I've been married to for close to 30 years has an equally touching eulogy for me. Destry, 
He was a human man. He loved moist towelettes. And I personally will always remember how he would use his eyes to look at things and open his mouth to say words. You wrote a book called How to Kill Your Husband and Your Husband f***ing Died. That would be like if I wrote a book called How to Kill My Husband and My Husband Ended Up f***ing Dying. There's no good analogies because it's that f***ing simple. So anyways, the first story I am reluctantly talking about today is the alleged sex tape leak from YouTuber brother Logan and Jake Paul's dad, Greg Paul. Yo folks, what's going on? GP coming at you. Apparently also the voice heard in the video is similar to his, but I have have been informed that he never once says, yo folks, it's GP coming at you. So at this time, there is no way to tell for certain. GP coming in you, more like. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Greg Paul sex tape. What am I doing with my life? Oh good, here it is. You're telling me that Greg Paul's sex tape is monetized, but most of my videos aren't? Seems fair. The f is that? Sounds like he's shaking a bottle of juice. That's not what you do. No, none of this is what you do. Stop. No, 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 no. Like if I didn't know any better, I would think he was stirring the most liquidy mac and cheese of all time. Oh God, I literally feel like I need to take a shower. I'll be right back. But still, this isn't like the first creepy thing that he's done. In fact, apart from being Logan and Jake's dad, he's mostly known for being in a video where he's in a kissing competition with his son, where they kiss the same girl. Yo, what's happening, folks? GP coming <laughs> Whose dad is just agrees to this? Like, whose idea was it to film this video? And why? And why? <laughs> why would the girl just be like, "Hey, my 50-year-old dad's gonna kiss you"? Is that cool? Yeah, totally. <laughs> You better watch out. I'm a 1990s computer hacker. I say things like radical. We have stupid hacker names like mid midnight. I I see I I see midnight 21. I'm gonna steal your credit card information and download some porn. And also buy some water bikes. I'm now not Nord VPN. California. But anyways, the first real story that I want to talk about today is the Los Angeles band Threaten? 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 Was in the news recently for their record-setting tour, which sold out venues all across Europe, despite the number of actual people in attendance on average being two. Not 200, not 2,000, just two. So this is one of the first music videos that uh, pop up when you look up his band. <laughs> That face when you look back. <laughs> I can see the shore from a raging storm. <laughs> this is the best five dollars I've ever spent. Pretty soon you'll see me driving down the street bumping his music like. That's just me. I swear to God, don't you dare do it. Don't. No. No. Ah! A man is being sued for having too large of a penis. That and more right after this. I feel like this is one of the only times where a guy wouldn't mind if he was being publicly sued. Hey, I heard you're being sued. <sighs> yeah, man. My dog was just way too big, you know, just way too big of a penis. And, and I, uh, I just feel terrible about it. I honestly wish I was just more like you, you know, like a, a normal sized penis. But here I am walking around with just this massive burden that I honestly can't even fit into a pair of boxers. <laughs> Why me, God? Ah! Oh, oh. 